Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get MetaTrader 4 even though it has been removed from the App Store. Now MetaTrader 4 is a great trading app. It provides very, very accurate predictions and I'm going to look. So if we have, you can see the MetaTrading app right there. We open it up. You can see this is my portfolio. These are just the stocks that I've been looking at and the, well yeah, you can see, chill focus see everything we have here um, you can look at the charts you can trade on the app but yes this is um, this has been removed from the app store but ever since it has been removed there has been a way to download it back I'm going to be showing you that way um, we do have to do a few things we're gonna to have to change a few things in settings um, I'll, I'll show you um, it's nothing crazy nothing that will break your phone you don't have to reset anything, change any passwords, there's none of that. It's just a few things to make sure that the downloading process goes correctly, or, well, the downloading process works. However, if you are on an Android device, don't you worry. For my Android users out there, um, just follow the steps to the best of your ability. So if we go into Safari on an iOS device, for example, you Android users would just open up either Google Chrome or whatever other web browsing app you guys use. So without further ado, let's get started. When we are downloading, we wanna do a few things before we can actually download the app. First thing is in general, in about, you look at iOS version. Look at iOS 16.3. We just need anything above iOS 11. If you have iOS 15, 14, 13, that'll work. Anything below iOS 11 will not. In background app refresh, we just want to keep this on. You can have either Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi and cellular data, it doesn't matter, but you don't want it to be off. In App Store, you want to scroll down and look at offload unused apps. For whatever reason, when offload unused apps isn't on or is on, it doesn't download it properly. When it's off, then it works. Battery, you want to make sure the low power low power mode is on or is off, sorry, when it's on, it does not download the app properly, but that's why we wanna make sure this is off. Last thing, last but not least, Safari. Scroll down, go to advanced, go to JavaScript. Remember, we're downloading this through the web browser. We're downloading this through Safari. So, since we are doing that, we have to keep the JavaScript on. Once we have this, um, all five of these things working, we can swipe back out. Go to Safari or your web browsing app of choice and go to globetweak.com and everything will be there. All the apps will be there.